Welcome back to the heartland. Let me ask you all a question. Is this next story about political correctness or maybe something worse? A school board in Florida is currently debating whether or not to ban all religious holidays from its school calendar, and the proposal is one step away from passing. Amazing to me. All religious holidays will hear from Orlando to explain why it's the right thing to do is civil liberties attorney Mark Randazza. Mr. Randazza, you know, for well over 200 years, we've celebrated Jewish and Christian holidays in our public schools. Why are we, why stop now? Well, I think, you know, I, I heard the comment before the break with that, uh, you know, you asked, what country is this? This country is the United States of America, and the Constitution of the United States of America, uh, something that every public official takes an oath to uphold, mandates that the government should not treat any religion differently than any other, nor should it treat religion differently than non-religion. First of all, that isn't in the Constitution. But, but the point is, well, is that for 200, is, yeah. 200, no, it doesn't say one does it get, it says that the government shall not have an establish a religion. But and we, also well, we've our, done and this, we've, we've treated, on. look, we've had Christmas, we've had Jewish holidays, you know, all of my lifetime. We've had it for over 200 Great. years. Why are we changing it Absolutely. now? See, this is why I think people are upset about it, is that the Hillsborough School Board has done something very courageous here. What they've done is not the politically correct thing, but the constitutionally correct thing. Now, that bucks tradition, and that rubs people the wrong way. But if we realize that we have a tradition that is counter to what the Constitution says, I think that that's a tradition that has to roll by the wayside. I don't think the Hillsborough County School Board has done anything wrong here. What they've done is they've decided that they're not going to endorse a religion. Now, all right, no Mr. one's Randazza, saying that hold, kids can Hold on, hold on on that point. First of all, I think they're gutless. I don't think they're courageous at all. This has nothing to do with a separation of church and state. They were put on the spot because somebody said they wanted a Muslim holiday. And so rather than saying to the Muslims, look, you're free to go to your mosque, we'll give you an excuse absence, what they're saying is we're not going to have any holidays because they don't want to have the guts to tell somebody this is a Jewish and Christian country. This has nothing to do with a separation whoa, of church whoa, and state. Whoa, whoa, you, whoa. You served in Congress. You took an oath to uphold the Constitution of the United States. And this is not a Christian or a Jewish country. This is a multicultural country. This is a country where everybody's traditions are respected. And well, if well, we can't all, do it I, I in a way that's fair that. and equal. You know, in the, Congress, in the Congress, we had ministers come in and rabbis come in. And every once in a while, we might have a Muslim come in. But the fact well, they, is, they're, there's they're no denying, Mr. So. Randazza, there's no denying that this is fundamentally a Christian and a Jewish country. Read the founders. I, the reason why the school disagree. board didn't want to say no is they didn't want to say no to Muslims. Are you I denying that? I don't think that's that? true. Are you yes, denying I that? Think, am I denying that the school board wanted to say no to Muslims? Yeah, are, you saying, are, you, are you denying the reason why they're canceling these other holidays is because they didn't want to face up to the fact that people were denying Muslim holidays. That's what the story's about. I think what the story is about is the Muslims asked for equal time. They asked that right. if the school was going to endorse Good Friday, Easter Monday, and Yom right. Kippur as official holidays, then it should also recognize Eid. I think the school board looked at that and said, you know, Islam, Judaism, and Christianity are not the only religions in this country. And if we're going to, man if we're going to follow the constitutional mandate that all religions be treated equally, <laughs> we've got to only have secular holidays. There's no constitutional mandate on that, Mr. Randazic. Go read the Constitution. The fact is, the school board is being politically correct and gutless. And there's one school board member on there is Sir, trying to stand up for this. And they're, they're on Christmas they're hardly being and gutless. Easter and Yom Kippur out of the schools. You know what? That's why people are homeschooling. They've about fed now, up with now the don't chaos forget, in the school. Kids can Mr. still Rand take the day off. All right, kids look. can still take the day off if they want to. If they want to take Good Friday off, they can All do right, that. That's the last. In this country, what we do is we accommodate religion. Yeah, you, know, you know what I think we do now? We're trying to drive it out of everybody. But Mr. Randazza, maybe I'll see you yes, in Florida sometime. Thank you. Now to a story thank you that very much. just 